Hello and welcome to Sheba Online Classes Standard 10. Today I'll be taking grammar. Okay, till now, hope you are revising with all the portions. Get ready for your uh, quarterly exam. So today I'll be taking grammar. This also is a very important part of uh, grammar. This is this is actually you have learned it from uh, uh, from your smaller classes from 600. You have learned this. What is this all? Okay, contractions and then abbreviation of course acronyms so this you have to, so many abbreviations what are abbreviations what is known as abbreviation i'll tell you now now first one we come to contractions contraction means you have to you're going to um, that is shorten the word shorten the word for example say what is given on the board see the i am i am is the word okay i am means what i am so this m is shortened so when you're, you're not writing that word means apostrophe apostrophe must put on top of that word which is missing okay so i am that is a is missing what is missing a is missing so when the a, a whichever word is missing that apostrophe you must put it there okay so this is it i am and then r e what is missing here again r a is missing so see here you are you are we say you are you are hmm? so what where, where is your uh, bag so you are so that you R, that word we just shorten it and say it. So it's called when you're contracting. When you're contracting means you're shortening the word, limiting that word. The full pronunciation is not uh, uh, given to you. So R, so again R, A is missing. So answer is U R. U R, that A part, <coughs> put the apostrophe. Now next is S. S apostrophe is what is given, is. So is, when you're going to write the is, this I part is missing. So he is, he is, he is, that is, he is, he is, I is missing. So he is that I is missing, there you put that apostrophe. So next V E V E and here's the apostrophe. Here two words are missing H and A. Have have no H A is missing V E. So you you plus have you have got that now. So that H A is missing. We contract it and make it a small word, smaller word. The next is can't, 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 couldn't, haven't. So here the not is missing. So that, that not we have to put apostrophe see the put apostrophe here so can't full form is cannot so this is called contractions so mostly we use this contraction when we it is a in spoken english only when you are speaking we use this kind of a contraction most of the written is now we don't much use the contraction okay <coughs> next we come to abbreviations what are abbreviations i told you abbreviations and acronyms most are boom both are related we get it in the exams so what is this so now most of wherever we go now people use the shortened form of uh, saying so now we got the sim card you say sim sim is s i m sim three different words <coughs> we joined and say a sim that is only called acronym that means that abbreviated form of word we take it as a single word a new word is formed for example, laser, laser, L A Z E R. No, that is different, different, different. Each word has got a, uh, that is full form of the word is, uh, is there. But what we do is, we shorten it and make it a new word. What is it? Laser, radar, laser, who, cry. So these are the words when you are, when you are using it often, no? So we make it as one single word. Okay. Isro, Isro also is acronym. See what is cry? Cry is child, relief, and you. Child, relief and you so three different letters we form it as one word okay so these are the that is acronym acronym now what is abbreviation abbreviation is <coughs> each word each letter we pronounce it for example see g p s there is not a gyps it is gps we are we don't uh, uh, that is uh, shorten the word like acronym here every letter is pronounced <coughs> now what is gps V R A R. So each has got a full form. So GPS full form, Global Positioning System. What is it? G P S. We pronounce it. Okay, the, all the letters are uh, separately. Separately, we are um, um, pronouncing it. V R Virtual Reality. A R Augmented Reality. So abbreviation means we pronounce each letter. Acronyms means the all the three letters are taken as one. Okay, so these are the explanation for contraction. Contraction is used in our day to day, every day is spoken English. These are the words which we use. A lot of uh, thing, uh, governmental organization or something, so many things we are, we have to use this. Okay, we don't, full form we don't say. Most SBI we say, UCO we say. <coughs> so these are the 
uh, that is uh, abbreviation and acronyms ok. Uh, the previous chapter I told you about abbreviations contractions no, now in your book page number 132 and 133 there are so many exercises given like these also you have learned about this uh, in, uh, as a day to day life you have definitely heard about this see titles before names we can abbreviate that also see titles before names that means professor P R O F we put that no like uh, professor's name means we just put the title and then write the name of that person okay like that so that also is abbreviated only and then Mr. Mrs. see Mr. Mrs. all that again is abbreviated short form for Mrs. Mr.'s Mrs. so it is uh, short form and then Saint uh, any uh, thing, Christians uh, Saint Anthony's church so Saint Saint again we don't write S C I N T we just write S T that also abbreviated form another one is reverend uh, reverend father reverend uh, pope so what we do r e v that's our one short form when we are uh, referring it to him we don't say rev we say reverend father reverend pope john paul that okay so next is honorable honorable correspondence we say honorable honorable next to his name we say h o n so any um, high uh, position people we have to write the h o n honorable prime minister like that okay then junior senior junior j r uh, now, if you have seen many uh, movies also, no, we say uh, junior uh, Mamuti, like that. Junior Mamuti, that means you know, Mamuti's son. So, junior we say, oh, okay, this is his uh, thing, uh, son or something like that. So, that is junior we say. Then, president, of course, P R E S, press, president, okay, CM, PM, all the, again, that is no, normally we use no, for CM is the chief minister, PM, uh, prime minister, like that. The so, next more is few objects few names of objects also see vcr cd dvd gps vrar tv all that is again abbreviated forms and then with numbers numbers also we say am am that is what words with with numbers that am pm what is am pm anti meridian post meridian that is before noon afternoon okay the next ad ad that is uh, christ uh, before christ after christ ad ad then bc uh, before common era then uh, c is common era like that so all that is when we come in history terms we get all this b c d a d all that okay and the next common latin terms this also we use lot of terms we say we say no, when, when you speak uh, you have to bring all this etc what's meaning of etc etc that means see that is kind of a latin words latin words also we use okay so etc means and so forth so on and many more like that we don't have to mention everything we say uh, so many things etc etc means there are so many others there are more but we're not able to mention it so henceforth okay then ie some words as it is in, when you're reading in any newspapers ie will be given that there that means that is ie means that is that is okay the next is eg but now we say no now we write uh, any examples now science we write an example eg example example means example of whatever we are, we are giving one uh, concept or example of that so another one word is for example is exempli gratia okay the full word is exempli gratia for example that is okay meaning l l that means l l e and others okay for well, that is when reading in letters and uh, some uh, format no this, all this is used versus now india versus uh, america sorry in uh, some any uh, anything versus means competing with each other two countries or two uh, uh, that is uh, IPL match is going to happen now who is going to compete with others so versus versus means we are we, what we put is V and S versus so that is all shortened form of writing all that is very very important we use it in everyday day to day life another one is terms of mathematical units also we go to a shop we say a uh, kilogram uh, give me one kilogram we say kg kg is a kg okay so let's say some kind of words feet how many feet are you feet and ft or is given there we don't write feet feet uh, five feet uh, six feet tall right. okay we just shorten it and write and then uh, the next one kilogram of i told you kilometers of course then mm millimeter ml milli, milliliter then ah uh, that is celsius now now what do we do what do they do when we go out anyway what is hell, uh, kept here now at the present time <laughs> Uh, pandemic what happens they keep that thermal uh, meter no what it shows there that is degrees celsius okay that so many degrees celsius if you are having any fever, fever they will not let you go inside so that is the all kind of a thing uh, even that is abbreviated for formally celsius dot and c is celsius and dot and f is fahrenheit okay degrees fahrenheit 
the dot is degrees and uh, f is stands for fahrenheit dot is uh, degrees and c stands for celsius okay next is we come to name of familiar institutions what um, familiar institution what uh, we commonly use that is un ec what is un united nation the cbi central bureau of investigation imf international monetary fund iit what is iit that is everybody uh, most of them we learn all this no it's a very good uh, form of education that, that is indian institute of technology that's a really very good uh, degree on can possess okay and the next name of countries even some countries uh, indian only we have india we say india but there is no abbreviated form for india oh it's only some countries that is what ussr usa uk so these words are abbreviated forms okay the long common phrases long common phrase what is that that is iq what is your iq percentage you say what is iq iq is intelligent kosha uh, intelligent kosha that is intelligence how much intelligence you have got so it is that given as uh, such a long term it is shortened and told as iq and then uh, mph is miles per hour so that even that is shortened then uh, miles per gallon all that is shortened form so these are the another part of all this will be asked for your exam so please you have to by heart it no other go you have to by heart these two pages okay they will be giving you see some exercises are given uh, expand the following abbreviated or acronyms now abbreviation and acronyms are in a mix over here it's jumbled up you have to take out all the abbreviation draw two columns abbreviation one column acronym one column and take out each and write the full form of the words okay for your uh, definitely you will be asked for your uh, quarterly exam this is very important chapter so even the another one abbreviated form of the whatever is given to you know iq that is again given here you have to write it down in that uh, fill in the blanks over here okay so this is it for uh, uh, that is for abbreviation contraction and acronyms next chapter i'm going to take is pronoun what is pronoun pronoun means what pronoun means we used instead of a noun pronoun noun you know isn't it parts of speech what are part of parts of speech nouns verbs adjective adverbs pronoun is also a parts of speech so pronoun is it comes under see what is now for example say kasturi went to the market kasturi bought vegetables kasturi bought fruits can we keep on say keep telling kasturi kasturi no no so for in, instead of that they were taking the name again you say she kasturi went to the market she bought fruits she bought uh, fruits and uh, vegetables and so on thing so that she is used no that is only it substitutes the noun okay what is the pronoun it substitutes the noun he she they them it all these are words which are used now in that there are so many varieties see the how many nine varieties nine varieties actually 10 varieties but that 10th one you will not understand so nine varieties easily understandable so i am giving you nine varieties of uh, pronouns first one i'll start with related pronoun what is related pronoun related pronoun means it is connecting word this is a connecting two sentences are given to you in that sentence this word is connecting this also it will relate to one of say starting this one uh, word uh, noun given to you and the related pronoun two sentences both the sentence we are going to join we are going to use related pronoun what is what are the related pronouns are that whom which okay that whom which these are the words to connect the sentences one one sentence will be having the noun one sentence will be having the pronoun so connect both the nouns both the, uh, the sentences we use pronoun okay the next one is demonstrative pronoun what is demonstrative pronoun this this uh, that so this uh, this uh, uh, book is very interesting uh, that uh, there uh, let this that demonstrative you particularly saying oh this part you are demonstrating that is this that these those you particularly are pinpointing and telling ah this uh, this so and so is very good got that now that is called demonstrative and next is indefinite now this is your pin pointing ah this is very nice this mango is very sweet this uh, no this book is very interest story book is very interesting so we are pin pointing definitely we are saying this but in indefinite you are not going to mention that particular person particular thing what you are to saying is some some children are not in the class or some uh, some fruits in the basket are very tasty so which fruits are saying you are not mentioning the particular fruit no so that is known as indefinite so what are the use what are the words we use some few any don't uh, cut those kind of words okay uh, next one is emphatic what is emphatic no emphasizing me myself she herself went to the uh, right to meet the guest she herself she herself is a pronoun and herself another pronoun 
so uh, emphasizing she herself went to uh, greet the guests okay so she herself it will be next to next so she is a pronoun another one herself is a pronoun so together it is emphatic pronoun okay uh, next is uh, exclamatory what is exclamatory of course it is a showing surprise what a beautiful flower what a beautiful climate so that what what is used to uh, show a uh, surprise uh, next that's called exclamatory pronoun okay everything in in front of the uh, pronoun whatever it is there be one pronoun next to it okay these are the words we can next one is personal pronoun this is only first first we learn first first when i learning is it substitutes a noun we say no this only that is he she it uh, okay these are the words we us then interrogative pronoun what is interrogative of course we use uh that is interrogation what is interrogative means which is the best uh, uh, school in town so which interrogative uh, who who is the best girl in the class so got the got that now so this is uh, asking you are asking a question and then distributive what is distributive each and every now uh, we had a thing so if you have in a, in a class every child should write the exam very well Uh, so like you no know, every child has to do the exam well so like that each and every that's why we are say distributive it should be this every child should get a uh, that um, anything whatever you are going to distribute in the class for example uh, giving a cake dividing the gate cake amount so many people each child give give the cake cake piece to each child so distributing it each one has to get the share okay so distributive pronoun the next finally come to reflexive what is reflexive herself himself uh, itself themselves okay these are the words reflexive pronoun so these are the thing you have to go through it there is a chart flow chart given to you here so everything is explained very very well over here you just do it and then further there is an exercise behind exercise are given so you just go through it 144 page number 144 how many b c d there are three exercises given try to do it Uh, and uh, only then you see as soon as we get uh, give you the explanation no unless you try to do it in your house no try to do immediately you will understand otherwise you'll forget the explanation immediately if you do it no then it will retain in your mind for a longer period of time okay till you get your till you attend your examination it will be easy okay always it is very important in class or in the video class you should immediately do the study that then and there itself don't uh, keep uh, lapsing it uh, that is keeping for tomorrow i'll say tomorrow tomorrow don't do that today is the best day okay so hope you understood this uh, so learn all the abbreviations and all the whatever i have taught you today okay learn it well practice it thank you